five questions for okay. you. A quick fire type thing. Yeah. So there might not one. be quick fire with me yeah. answering them. <laughs> That's all right. You talk I'll try the hardest. My brain doesn't work. That's fine. <laughs> First of all, little known musical fact about you. A little known? Yeah. Do you have one? A little known musical fact about me. Um, I used to... Okay. I did play a violin in a few paper films. There's a little fact for you. Ah, do, you do you start to touch it now or not really? No, because it was, um, I was a, um, what do you call it, extra in, in the uh, band. It was in the Wimbledon Theatre, thank you, in the Wimbledon Theatre. And um, we were playing a classical piece and, um, and, and the bomb went off. Oh, wow. And, that, and it, was, it was all made of, it wasn't it was pretty bolster, but it was, you know, it wasn't anything, it wasn't Stradivarius, put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, everything got blown up. Oh, wow. So that was... And were you all right? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, it was all, it was all staged. Oh. And another little fact, if you want another one, I used to work in bands with Trevor Horn back in the 70s. Ah, there you mm. go. Good. OK, talking of bands, if you could choose a band name to be in, like your own band name, what would you choose? Oh, just call it the Hazel Dean Band. Well, of course. I wouldn't call it anything else, would I? <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst fashion statement you've ever made? Yeah, she's right. It's a puffball skirt. A puffball yeah. skirt. Yeah. It, there's one top of the pops. I mean, it was huge. I mean, they were huge then, and I had this fabulous leather jacket on. It was for who's leaving who, actually. And um, and first, it was the first uh, first uh, top of the pops for who's leaving who. I had this black and white. Puffball. It was fine at the time, but when I look back at it, I think, oh, I think we all do that. <laughs> Hopefully that one doesn't come back. It wasn't good. Well, it won't be coming back for me, I can assure you. If you had written a song by another artist, what would it be? <laughs> if I had written a song... If you could choose any other song that you wish you'd written by another artist, what would it be? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just when she sang. I think it would be Evergreen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that song. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's a good song. Um, and finally, which modern music act do you think would have done well back in the 80s? <laughs> it's your favourite, you say. Well, you know what? She's probably right. She, she would have done. Uh, we, we went to we did go to see her actually, and she's her, her Jess Glynn. Oh, Jess Glynn. Yeah, her her um her band are really really good and funky and yeah, yeah. great songs. I could see that actually. Yeah. 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 It's funny we've had some really interesting artists today. Have you? Yeah. Maroon Five, Justin Timberlake. Well, there you go. You see. Yeah. Oh, we're all cool around here, you know. Jess Glynn's the most up to date one. I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, she's really good. If you get a chance to see it, exploring. Oh, that's it. They might find There you go. <laughs> you survived them. I can't, I can't think fast enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hazel. Oh, you're